Hey guys, Wes from Insert Frame here, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your Framer form to MailerLite. If you haven't built a custom form already and you want to learn how, you can click the card in the top right to watch the tutorial. But everyone else, let's connect your form to MailerLite. The first thing we'll have to do is get our form URL from MailerLite. To do that, we'll first have to go to the MailerLite website. And from there, you can either log in or create an account if you don't already have one. Since I already have an account, I'm just going to go over to the dashboard now. This is what you'll first see when you log in. But once you're here, in the sidebar, you can click on Forms and then Embedded Forms. Now we can create a form. Go ahead and give yours a name. I'll call mine Waitlist and hit Save and Continue. You might already have subscriber groups, and in that case, just select the one you want this form to be connected to. I don't, so I'm just going to create a new one. So since we're creating a wait list, we all know that good things come to those who wait. In reality, you'll probably want to name it something more meaningful, but for now, this is fine. So let me just hit continue, and it's going to load up a page where we can edit our form, but since we're building our form in Framer, we can just hit Done Editing without actually really editing anything at all. From here, we can scroll right down to the bottom where it says Embed Form into your website and press the HTML Code tab. Press Command F or Control F if you're on Windows to open your browser's Find menu. Below this video, we've got a text snippet that you can just copy and paste into your Find menu. Just hit Enter. And it's going to bring up two results, but we want the first one. So as you can see, here's the second one. We don't want it, we want the first one. Copy the entire URL starting from HTTPS and ending with slash subscribe. So within these two quotation marks, we're just going to grab that and Command C or Control C just to copy it. Now we're going to go back to our Framer project and click the Submit button to select it. Then we'll go to the Properties panel on the right and select MailerLite from this drop down here. From here, we hit Paste on the MailerLite URL field here. Now that we've done that, that's it. We can call it a day. Or can we? So in MailerLite, each contact has several fields for data we can grab from leads such as email, first and last names, address, and phone number, just to name a few. But unless our field names are identical to the corresponding field tag in MailerLite, we lose that data to Limbo. To check what available tags there are, we can go to the subscribers in the sidebar of MailerLite. Then we're just going to click Fields. And since in my form, all I'm asking for is a name, you can see all I need is this name here and it has to be spelt let's say I wanted the last name it would have to be spelt exactly the same as this with the underscore in between this dollar sign and this closing curly bracket so I can see here it's name I'll just copy that in case it isn't set to that already and as you can see here mine is called name input and now we should be done at least I think we are the only way to really be sure is by testing it out. So let's hit publish. And we're just going to view it live and fill out the form. Sure. Submit. Cool. Now we can see that's sent. So we can just go back to our MailerLite dashboard and check the subscribers page. And there you have it, chosen one at hogwarts.edu.uk. So that's how you connect your Framer form to MailerLite. Hope this helped and that you have a great day.